Yet another Tippling Tuesday, my good man. Oh, yes. I like it. Two Tippling Tuesdays in a row. Lockdown day, you know, 312. I don't know what oh, this is. Oh, Jesus. Maybe it just feels like 312. If, if it wasn't for you telling me it was Tuesday, I don't know that I know what day it was. Yeah, I hear you. It's it's like, again, like I said, I said it before. I'm sure I'll say it again. It's like Groundhog Day. But no young Andy McDowell to chase around. Oh, well. Last week we did two. Today we do another two. We received four whiskey samples from the Single Malts of Scotland, which is part of Elixir Distillers, the same people that own the Whiskey Exchange. They also do Port Esqueg and a few other things. This is brought in by our good friends at Impex Beverages out of the mm-hmm. West Coast. And they gave us four samples. We've done two. So we've covered the Ben Nevis and a Linkwood. Now, today, we're going to do a Lecheg, and we're going to do a Glenbergie. And we'll do the younger one first. The Lecheg is a 14-year-old. Let me read a little bit about it. The Lecheg single malt was distilled on the Isle of Mull in 2005 and aged for over 14 years in a sherry butt, which yielded 607 bottles. All right, the rest is all tasting that, so I'll skip that. The point is, it's 14 years old, sherry butt, 607 bottles. It's got a double five. 55.4% ABV, and it is cask number 900178. So let's do this thing. The note says this was in a sherry butt the entire time. Uh, I believe so, yes. I believe that's what I said. It's got a lot of color. Yep. um, I'm guessing it's all natural, right? I suppose. I mean, these are single cask, unfiltered, the whole bit, right? Non-chill filtered, the whole enchilada. Natural. Yep, natural color. This is the color. Get Look a at that, uh, that's, that's a nice color. Yeah, it is. It's pretty. It's got that nice dark amber, baby. Amber. Is that is that like a, a chestnut? It could be a chestnut. Is it a Mars chestnut? <laughs> I don't know if it's Mars chestnut. <laughs> no? Chestnut Mr. Street? Chestnut, Mr. Chestnut, go see G-Lo. Please don't come to my house. Oh. That smells very nice. It's got a, it's, it's, it's a little vapory. It's a little, it's a little young and fiery. I get a lot of vapors, and I'm getting uh, a lot of, uh, like, the, the wood leather. I'm getting a little smoke. I'm getting a little but bit of peat But not like peat. Not like well, peat? it's smoky. I mean, I don't know. I assume it's some sort of peat, some form. It may not be well, I, I just mean it, 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 you're getting more like the, you know, cigar, tobacco. I don't know. See, the thing is, it's like sweet smoke. So maybe it's like a pipe. Like a little pipe tobacco. And oh, I'm now that some... you said peat, I'm getting a little peat. So there's just smokiness to it. I think because of the sherry, though, you know, it kind of melds in. You know, so maybe if this was a bourbon cask, it would have been more peaty, more like right. you know, more uh, iodiney. But in this case, since you're getting all this, you get that sweet stuff. It's almost like um, like a pipe or maybe a little bit of barbecue. It's good stuff. That's what I'm getting. Mm, it smells good. It smells very good. Uh, any other stuff we get out of those? A little bit of citrus, maybe. A little bit of a uh, little bit of vanilla. Hmm. Perhaps. For, for as long as it was in a sherry cast, I would have expected like some figgy notes. Some more darker fruit some, and all that good stuff. Some of that. No, I'm really not getting much of that. Well, they don't say whether it's first fill, second fill, third fill. So right. I don't know. Right. It just says a sherry butter. I mean, it could have been the second fill, but who knows? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go for a taste. Me too. You know, I'm getting a lot more barbecue this time around. A little bit. It's Ooh. very dry too. Oh, that's and dry. And on the finish, you get like the charcoal on the finish. Mm. Like you were just I... eating ribs, or a uh, you know going over to Sam's house, getting a little something from him. That is awfully nice. Oh, and that's like that like coats the tongue front to back. And I'm getting I'm getting the wood. I'm getting the smoke. I'm getting some some like peppery spices. It's like you mm. just ate some good barbecue. This is mm. really something. You know, it kind of reminds me of, of a couple of those, um, not quite as smoky, but like those Kilhomans in the sherry cask. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of like that. You know, it's very rich. I got to go in front of the sip here. That's really nice. So, yeah, I'm not getting a lot of like fruit. I'm getting more like smokiness. Like we said, maybe like barbecue or, you know, pipe tobacco. A lot of baking spices. It's pretty dry. 
it's it's really really dry. I get some good dark sugar in there, but again, it's not particularly sweet. Maybe some chili, maybe some like uh, like chili powder. It's like you, you you basically got all the flavors from a good barbecue. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. you can get that caramelized outer coating on whatever you're barbecuing. Like a burnt end. Yeah. On a That's on a pork butt. That's a fun drink. You know, and now after I'm having it a couple times, it's not quite as dry as I thought it was. And it doesn't have that like that tannic thing going on that you get in a lot of sherries. Yeah, you get to, like a, it's almost like a whiny kind of thing at the end. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, maybe maybe this is like a second fill or a third fill. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. And 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 maybe it's also the, the ABV at first gave you kind of a drying because it was so mm. hot. And and now you're you're used to it. That was good. Yeah. That's very nice. Makes me wish I had more. What are we thinking here? But, uh, 89, 90? That, yeah, that's an A. Yeah, I'd go 89, 90. I'd give that a 90. It's got a nice balance. So we'll give that one and like a like you said, it's front to back. You know, it isn't yeah. like you only get flavor up front or only no. in the finish. No, no, no. It runs front to back. There's flavor the whole time. Yep. And the finish is very nice. Again, it's dry, but it's not ridiculously dry where, you know, I'm like dying here. All right. Have a little bit of water, a little agua. Get a new yeah. Glass. A little bit of water to wash away the barbecue. Yeah, man, I really put the lid on these things. Oh, there we go. Couldn't get it open. So this is considerably lighter. Oh, let me read a little bit about it. Let me pour, and then I'll read. Okay, so the Glen Berge, 21 years old. It is 55.2% ABV. Cask number 900896. Distilled in 1998, this Glenbergie single malt was aged in a hogshead for over two decades before being bottled in 2019. Space-side summer holiday in a glass is how they're describing it. 251 bottles produced. I try not to read too much because I don't want to uh, lead the witness. Oh, this is. have you gone in for nosing yet? You know, this is this is really a, a horse of a different color. This is like a nice syrup. This is I yeah. put this over pancakes and those in this. So it's got a nice golden yellow color, pretty color, light pale gold. And it it it's not as viscous as the last one, but it's uh, it's got far more on the nose. Getting I'm getting like a, like a good pancake. It's like a buttery smell to it. It's nice. Mm-hmm. It's very like light and fruity. It's not super vapory. Like, it doesn't hurt when I nose yeah. it. The other one was a little hotter on the nose. Yeah, and, and they're both 55, which right. is just amazing how the you know, the cask rounds out that last note of the, the vapors. Maybe I'm getting lots of fruit. Like, it's definitely fruity and, like, creamy. You know, almost like a, maybe, uh, like a peach. Getting a little bit of peaches. Custard, like a vanilla custard with some... With some... I'm getting, like, a cream pie. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Maybe a peach melba. What is that? What's melba. a peach melba? Not melba toast, but a peach melba. Isn't no, that a dessert? Melba or melba more. Well, that's nice. That's really nice on the nose. Again, it, it, it's just totally different than the last one. Last one was yep. all sherry and barbecue. This is like a, a breakfast treat. This is nice. Okay, I'm going to go in for a taste. But yeah, it's very, very light. It's like I see, I smell like peaches, like vanilla custard, maybe some powdered sugar. Maybe even some, maybe some, maybe some like white grapes, like white raisins. Your sultanas. My sultanas, yes, my sultanas, golden raisins. All right, let's go for a taste. Wow, I went in. That's hot. The nose lulls you into a sense of simplicity, and then the mm. heat comes back and kicks Ooh, you, you know in the what? face. That's you know what? That's that's good. You know what I like about this? The mouth feel. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's really like slick and oily. It's got some and it's, viscosity uh, to it. It's anesthetizing. Gets gets the whole front of your your, your front of your teeth. Getting a lot of the uh, the um, cinnamony spice, maybe more than pepper, like more baking spice, like you had a you know, something hot and, and a, lot, a lot of citrus. I uh, you know I'm not think I'm not finding it. Th- I mean, it's it's got some heat, but I don't find it overwhelming. Maybe because you said it before I went in, and I kind of took it easy. You know, I took like a small bit, let my saliva kind of work into it, water it down a little bit. But that is just really – I love the mouthfeel on this. Yeah. The mouthfeel the yeah. mouth gets me. There was something recently yeah, we had to – I don't mean like it's too hot. I just mean that there's that – it's more like – it's not the alcohol vapors or like a pepper. I'm getting more like a cinnamon, like baking notes, like it's a, a pie, you know, mm. that type of hot. 
again, getting the fruit, almost getting a little bit of the peach. You know, I think the nose and the palate kind of go together pretty nicely. I and think so. Of- and there, there's a little, like, biscuity quality to it. Like, mm-hmm. you are dipping into, like, that's the, the crust of the pie. Like a little you know, butteriness. Right there. Like yeah. it's buttery and creamy. Yeah. You get the vanilla. You get that, like, peaches or some other kind of, like, light fruit, like a vanilla custard. Now, now have what, you had anything from Glen Berge before? You know, uh, who knows? We probably did. You know, the problem is we don't see, like, we don't get distillery bottlings of this stuff, so we're always getting independent bottlings. Right. So they're kind of hard to keep track of. And we lose track. Know? This is, so. uh, this is a Perno Ricard. Is that who owns them? They, uh, and they put this into uh, Ballantines. Well, you know, I hear good things about the about the Ballantines, like the yeah, older stuff. That's, that's, it's pretty nice. I like the Lechegg also, but I think I like this marginally better. I just think it's a better, just overall, just a, a little bit more maybe depth to it. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I probably like them both about the same, but I, I like the sherry stuff, so... I'm a little yeah, well, so do I. Sherry. But but so, this one's working. For um, but now we've had four from uh, from the our fine friends, our new friends at uh, Single Malt of Scotland, and yep. uh, boy, they're they four really good representations of Scotland and, and just delicious. Yeah, this one's really really good. Uh, I'm going to go marginally higher on this one, maybe a 92, 91, 92. Just a little bit. Yeah, higher. I, I think I'm right. There I think with the, it. I think the mouthfeel puts it over the edge. The mouthfeel is really what gets me because it's kind of like inviting. It's like, oh, that was really good. Let me do that again. So that okay, does. so we got a, we got like an 89.90 here on the yeah. on the on the on the, on the Egg, and maybe a 91.92 on the Glen Burgie. And, and I probably go you know A minus A for Lechegg and the the Glen Burgie is it's a solid A. That's that's just they're both really good. Thank you to the fine folks at Impex for sending these along, and also you know cheers to the single malts of Scotland. Hopefully we'll see you on the shelves so you can tempt us with your wares. So, all right, cool. Our, our, our virtual oh. cheers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. All right. I'll do it right. I'll do it right. Hey, <laughs> I did it right. I did it right. All right, man. Cheers. <laughs>